goodness, look at this thing. An 80s Telecaster that's been interestingly modified. We'll have a look at it while my amp warms up. Oh, can you hear how good that sounds? Mmm, this doesn't have any ground noise problem at all. Mmm, it's yummy this. Great. And so then there's that, which is interesting because it's obviously directly mounted to the body. If you pinch the last fret here, you can tell why. Because if you tried to mount it to the pickguard, it would be sticking well above the strings. <laughs> so my buddy, my buddy's biggest problem with this were, were these holes and how dirty this humbucker cover was. <laughs> That, those were his biggest problems with it, so <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But anyway, yeah, so this is an 80s US Telecaster. It's got a few nicks and bumps and bruises and all kinds of fun stuff. Oh my goodness, yeah, I gotta stop that. That's gotta stop. Yeah, I got no love for this guitar at all. <laughs> I just see work. I just see a nut that's been cut, but all this crap here needs to be filed down. Look at the state of these tuners. It's like somebody grabbed this thing with the jaws of life. Just the worst. <sighs> Look at that. Look at how chooched those are. And as if that weren't enough, like, I don't know, maybe it's just the 2015 in me, but this is like, yeah, I'd be embarrassed to have that on my guitar. Like, I'm not famous. I'm not Eddie fucking Van Halen. That's unsightly. Anyway, it was the 80s, so we'll excuse that. But yeah, otherwise, it's in okay shape. It's it's in okay shape for an 80s Strat. It's full of scratches, everything you'd expect. Did I say Strat? I meant Telecaster. Look, you can see the body line. That's hilarious. You can see the two pieces. Yeah, there we go. All the way right up the body, you can see that. See? Oh no, well to your fret. Oh dude. There you go.
we go. Nice and clean and straight. Alright, so that was unfortunate. I lost a bunch of the footage from the end of this guitar anyway, it got done. I uh, tried as best I could to clean up some of that cigarette burn. Just put a little lacquer over top of that. Pretty standard repair. Anyway, these tuners turned out great. They're on there nice and straight. The thing I like about these tuners is if you line up the first two, the rest of them just fall in line. They just, they're easy to put on. And they look good. And they're not hard to install. The only unfortunate thing is the outer white ring from the old bushing, but that's no big deal. Anyway, so a little less unsightly looking. Cleaned up this nut a bit. If it would focus. Cleaned up that nut a bit. So the strings just sort of protrude out of there. Put a little bit of that nut sauce on there. These could even come down just a touch further, but I figured that was good enough. Anyway, just gave her a general clean, and she's ready for the races. Okay, ready for ready for to be sold. Away she goes.